Hey mages, welcome to today's Brothers War deck guide and gameplay video today. And today I've got a deck that I played in the Early Access event. I forgot to call the intro for it, but the gameplay is um, on Arena, obviously. Uh, so I've used my page from Ethub and um, just to showcase the deck before we go into the gameplay and you can see what this deck does. So with the new Brothers War, we get lots of really, really cool um, Phyrexian artifacts. We've got uh, Phyrexian Flesh Gorger. Now, this is a really good card for me. I love this one. It's a 7-5. Can be played for a prototype cost of one double black. Uh, then it becomes a 3-3. If not, you play it for the 7. It's a 7-5. And what we're looking to do with this deck is cheat the Phyrexians into play. That is what this whole deck about. We have cards like uh, Repair and Recharge, Return to Artifact, Enchantment, or Planes will card from your graveyard to the Batterfall. We've got ways to discard these as well. Bitter Reunion, pay one. We can give it haste as well. We've got Cathartic Pyre that can um, draw two, uh, discard two cards and draw two cards if we'd like to do that as well. Um, so then the cheap way to do that is to get them back into play. And the cards we want to get back into play are Phyrexian Flesh Gorger, Menace, Lifelink. Now, opponent, when this costs seven, they have to pay seven life to target it, which is amazing. Even when it is just the prototype 3-3, three, three, they've still got to pay three. And it still has the Menace and Lifelink as well. So it's, you know, it's a pretty cool card. We then have cards like Cityscape Leveler. Uh, this is an 8-8 with Trample. When you cast this spell and whenever it attacks, destroy up to one target non-land permanent controller creates a tapped power stone turk. And it also has unearth rate, so you can get that down and attack it with haste as well. We have two of these in the deck. We have four Phyrexian Flesh Gorgers and a card that I was just surprised about how really good it was. I don't know why I was surprised, because you know it's a nine mana mythic portal to Phyrexia. I mean, to the battlefield, each opponent sacrifices three creatures. And then at the beginning of our upkeep, we put a target creature card from any graveyard onto the battlefield under our control. It's also a Phyrexian in addition to its other types. So when we get opponent, you know, kill their creatures, they sack their creatures. Could be something really good, um, potentially. And then we get to potentially put that into the battlefield under our control as well. And we get to do that at the beginning of every upkeep. Now, while that is good, like I said, we want to be getting that in. We've got Repair and Recharge. We've also got Spirit Sisters Cool. At the beginning of your end step, choose a target permanent. Um, in your graveyard, you may sacrifice a permanent that shares a card type with that, and then basically that comes and that returns to the battlefield. Oh, that's brilliant, because we can make like blood tie tokens, we can make the blood tokens, which are obviously artifacts, sack them. We can make treasure tokens, because we can attack in with the Fable 2-2 Shaman. Or we can um, create tokens with big score to get those artifacts on the field, sack those, trigger with the sister's call, and if these do get killed, we can just keep bringing these back and over and over again, and that is what the deck does. They might be able to get rid of these, but they keep coming back. Exile, not our best friend. Worst card we can come against, obviously, is Farewell. That is a nightmare. Not much we can do about that. I had, you know, I thought about maybe just adding blue in instead of maybe one of the other colors, just to think we can have some counter spells. But a deck works well. You'll see that from the gameplay. It works really, really cool. So, like I said, we've got the discard. We've got ways to make treasures. We've got um, depopulate as a two of because you know we're playing pretty late game again. We can, you know, zoom out with a uh, if we're lucky with a turn four or five. Uh, repair charge and get something straight on the battlefield early which is really good if you can get a portal that can save you but depopulate is nice putting stuff into the graveyard as well to potentially then trigger our portal to Perexia. so sit back and enjoy the gameplay uh, when the next video comes up it will hopefully be on arena which i think starts from today um, so it was a later release that normally comes straight after the early access event and um, then we'll be able to get you know see this on the proper screen but the gameplay is here for you so sit back and enjoy the matches. All right, here we go. Opening hand, not too bad. Got some lands. Got Path of Peril. And a nice big portal to Phyrex here as well. So we lead off with our Haunted. And see how we go. Let's go. So we can turn to Blood, potentially, which I think we will do. Um... Let's get our blood in. I have to take a little bit of pain. We could go down with the turn three for Exion as well. Toulouse. Okay. It's the battle. It connives. 4 
two. Okay. Um, let's go there. We will attack in. Opponent blocks. That's fine. Okay. That goes to hand. So B. Let's get our Phylexian Flesh Forger in. We'll play it for the three mana because it's still good. Men is lifelink. Ward is pay life, so it's cost three life. Um, this does exile, though. Let's go in with the Blood Tithe. Okay. Um... No attacks. In turn. Flash in the Wanderer. Okay. He's going to exit three creatures. Creatures is okay, so we can get that there. We will put a little stop at the end of play there so we can discard this with a blood token. Uh, this has Menace. The 1 1 counter and first strike. That's fine. Okay, we will do pass, no blocks. Pass. It's got first strike, so we wouldn't get any value out of blocking that. See if opponent does. Oh, we really want him to do that now. Okay, Kaito. Ah, that's not too bad. That will phase out though. I could sneak right by, but I am itching to Resolve. <laughs> There's no secret okay. I can't uncover. Uh, we will discard the portal. And do that. That's lovely. Our turn. Depopulate. Let's get this back. That goes. Okay. And then we attack there. And attack over there. So get rid of the wandering. Portals on the battlefield. Um, creatures, nothing. Man, we can get a blood back in, and a to lose if we want as well. Um, Urza. And a power of our chance. Okay, Planeswalker. Okay. Now we could path of peril. Just get that out of the way. That is a two. That is a two four though. Now this. Is a juicy secret. Okay, so we will put in. Jeez, I don't appreciate that. Okay. Um, uh, which one do we want to get? Let me go there. The Ick and Ives. Um. We draw a land. Okay. Um, let's activate here. Um, discard this land. And we draw one of the... Okay, not too bad. Hmm. What's the best option? What is the best option? We can get rid of this. Which actually I think I do want to do, you know. Let's do that. Let's attack over here. Now this is getting fun. Play another prototype. Auto pay. And see how we go. The fairy, nice. Draw a card. Make a spirit. That's fine. We have menace over here. Thanks. I'll be taking that now. So we can actually kill the planeswalkers, or do we? We are being sidetracked by the planeswalkers, but I do know temporal does get out of hand big time. Um, your graveyard. Hold on, opponent graveyard. Oh uh, god. Thank you. 
You'll agree with that. Actually, I'm going to go for a blood tithe. Create a blood token. We do get a depopulate. So let's get rid of one of the depopulates. And we draw another path of peril. Hilarious. Okay. Let's go over there. Over there. Over there. And attacking. We don't mind that doing that because we can get it back anyway. So there's no worry about that. They can come back as a 7-7. Um, so yeah, we're, we're getting rid of that. That's fine. Um, and I think we pass turn. So down to the Kaito. But I feel like the Planeswalker is just going to keep coming, but... Teferi I was really worried about, so... To lose comes in. Now, good thing is we're going to get Phyrexian in here, which is going to be massive. That gets exiled. Because with Portal on the field, we don't mind just keep attacking. Opponent coming in. Uh, no blocks. We're not worried about that one. They do it to draw a card, though. I know something you don't know. Might Stone. That is very nice. Tuckley's just minus 5-5. Five, five. Okay. Draw two cards. Um, We will put in... The Phyrexian... Um. Yeah, let's go over there, over there, and there. I think that's the right way to do it. So we block, block, block there. That gets back to hand. Um, we will play a land. Play another Phyrexian, so we've got two big ones. If they got Wrath, they got Wrath, but we can always get stuff back, which is fine. They meld for Urza. Do as I command. Now, they probably want to exile the Phyrexia, but then they die. Unless they have removal for these. But it costs seven life to get rid of these. And these have menace um, we can also just path of peril as well um, so if we path of peril um, probably for the best there that goes and attack in for the win GG's that played really well there up to 44 life as well reanimating fun times right over down just the two lands with a bitter we've got three fabled though oh this is i tell you what this is a risky key but i'm definitely going to give this a try he's got three fables there which is just really strong we're not on the draw but we do have discard draw so that's one good thing So we'll lead off with our Shatter. And then play the Mountain. And yay! Okay, that's pretty sweet. Um, don't think I need three, so I'm going to play this now. Because we do want land. And there's the land. Perfection. Right, so we got Spirit Sister Call cool, that potentially we got there as well. Okay. Let's go in with Fable. Create our 2 2. And hopefully get an attack in. A bit of pain landish going in there for opponent's own. Rubrica. Okay, um, we will um, discard. No, uh, actually, I don't want to discard that one. Do I want to discard that one yet? Yeah, let's discard that. Okay, Path of Peril is not too bad. Let's attack in. Create the treasure token. 
And then we will play another Fabled, I think. Uh, hmm. Actually, let's play Spirit Sister. And we'll bring back in this. Sacrifice it here. Bring back in the Phyrexian Flesh Gorger. Seems decent. Big 7-5 Menace Lifelink Ward. So it's going to cost 7 life to deal with as well. Uh, obviously we will be blocking. Because it gives us 7 life. So it's a target. It's going to cost another 7. And potentially we can get this back as well. It's a, it's a bit of a quandary, the Flesh Gorger. They return in with Titan. That's nice. Probably going to destroy his sister's cool. It's an awkward one, though. It is an awkward one. Shield counter does well. Okay, gonna get that and get the Rhino. Okay. Uh, let's go there. Um, Menace Lifelink Ward. Hmm. hmm. I mean, that's just gonna attack anyway. So, which is a bit of a problem. I think we go in with another Fable. Um, I think I... Just make sure... The, hold on, hold on. Yeah, I'm going to activate this ability to give everything haste. I'm going to tap this to copy here. And then... Hmm... I attack in there. Attack in there. I mean, do I attack? I don't think I attack in with this one as well. Yeah, I think I just go like that. Make the treasure token. This has menace so we can get rid of the 4-4. Four four. That goes. I've still got the 7-7 seven seven on. I mean, maybe I could have attacked with that as well. But I like being able to copy it, so it's not really something I want to get rid of. And um, 34 life is, is pretty nice. Um, 3, 6. We haven't got quite enough mana for that. Uh, this can't be dealt with because it's going to cost 7 life to deal with. And opponent will die. The Celestus. Unless this can have haste. Uh, opponent can just attack him for 11. Um, so we will um, discard. Hmm, hold on. Two mana. Hold on, hold on. I think I just do that and that. That is pretty nice. Um, this is three mana. I peril. To do that. I copy over here. And then attack in for the win. There we go. Nice. 48 life. We take the win. The reflection copying the massive Phyrexian. Oh my days. This deck is so fun. Right, so we do have the ability to play the Fable, so I think we'll keep this one. And also we do have the Phyrexian Flesh Gorger in hand, which is not too shabby. So we're going with the Haunted. And they're not the colours we like to see. When you're playing against them anyway. Ah, yeah, right. Come on then, let's try it. Oh, it gets in. Love it. I was expecting the counter there straight away. Gators. Nice. And discard. 
discard. Get all right. We get some lands. <laughs> Not too shabby. Um, let's go in. Create that token because why they are tapped out. We're going to play sisters. Okay, that's fine. Um, we will bring in. Um, nothing <laughs> we'll save it for next time if we get a chance Urza Azorius that is nice draw some cards I like the look of this card I don't know about five man I mean it's because of the ability to do other stuff um, which is none too shabby can still tap for mana then draw some cards you get a power stone which is really cool Exile. Back. Play. Um, bring back. Sacrifice the creatures. That's what we like. The portal coming in doing some work there. We do have Phyrexian range as well, but you know, they're going to have probably mass removal as well. Farewell is going to be a really awkward card for us to deal with. Um, tapping down the reflection is... That's okay. We get another power stone. So what's this do? After oh, so effects, an instant sorcerer because it's less. Okay. But we're going to bring in this. Minus two, look at the top two. Okay. The spider. Untapping this seems very decent. Like it. Three lands in hands is a little bit awkward. Um, we will bring this in. Ooh, that's not too bad. That's not too shabby. And so we will discard, discard, I think, yep, and draw, oh, nice, okay, so we will copy this over here, and then we will kill to fairy, um, do we want another one of these, I think we do, so let's make an artifact token because it gives us more stuff to sack. See what's happening. Okay, block there. And the good thing about this is it costs seven life to get rid of as well. So we get rid of Teferi, go up to 25. We'll play this and we'll play a Blood Tithe. Um, let's discard this again so perhaps we can get two on the field in turn spirit sisters get the portal back in um, we will sacrifice the treasure Kind of sacrifices their Thran. And we pass the turn with two cathartic pyres in hand. This will flip next turn. Um, we can obviously make another Phyrexian and attack in again. We have three damage here to do to any creatures. Depopulate is nice. Um Yeah, we'll resolve that. Oh, we get another portal. That's hilarious. Okay. Um, let's do... Uh, discard up to two cards. We'll discard one. And we get a city leveler. Okay, so we'll bring back in our graveyard. Bring back in the flesh gorger. And... Um, opponent graveyard. Um... 
Bring in that. Get some tap power stones. Transform. Um, play the land. Now, when this cast a spell, we can attack. So let's cast. Destroy the might. And um, hmm, I think I'll bring in Fable. Um, do I want to bring a Fable? No, actually decline. Decline. Now, barring another wrath, we could do well. Oh, it's another one opponent. Nice. <laughs> they do have another one. Uh, we can unearth and get rid of that again. Powerstone Engineer. Okay, so your graveyard we bring back in. Um, prototype. Um, and the leveller. They all come back in. Now we do have Path of Peril, which is nice. Um, nothing to give haste, though. At the moment. So, end turn. Um, let's bring back another one. Sack one of these. Bring back another portal. Okay, resolve. Now, are we going to get to attack? Are we going to get to attack this time? Okay. Um, um, let's draw. Okay, we get another one. Oh, no. Ah, it's so annoying. I mean, we get this in. And we go. Now, if they minus two here, we kill it. Come on, minus two. Nah, the plus an untap, wouldn't they? I'm guessing. Okay. Give me a moment. Bank Buster. I mean, we have three for X's. We're going to kill that there. Okay, so we're going to bring in... There. There. Um... there and we're gonna have to we'll be killing that tap power stones okay um let's go draw a card from opponent okay We'll take this. Okay. Um. Hmm. Decline. Okay. Opponent could bring Sam back. Not a lot in there. We need to survive. We just need to get one attack. And opponents managed to deal with us every time so far. So we've not managed to get it in. Okay. Are they melding? They're melding. Exile permanent. So Spirit Sisters probably has to go. Minus three. I mean, we can just clear up afterwards. Depending on what's in hand. Yeah. Thought that was going. This doesn't concern you. Hmm. 
Clear out the planeswalkers. Okay, one of the Phyrexia is gone. Top three gets a card. Please don't be a wrath. Planes. Cycle still searching. Solicitors not worried about that one. Another Teferi. Ah. Doesn't do much, I don't think. Untap, but they need to draw. Okay. Gain some life. Right, here we go. Okay, so your graveyard, opponent graveyard. Let's get that in. Your graveyard. There. Blood token. There we go. Springs, right. When you cast, whenever it's supposed to charge one target on a land permanent, that's good. Okay. So, nothing to crew. Okay, draw a card. That's fine. Okay, so this, hold on goes there, this goes there, goes there, this destroys that, do some of that, gets rid of all that, um, success is built upon failure, um, and we destroy the reckoner, Uh, end turn. Okay. Barring wrath. Barring wrath. We got the win. Oh, my days. Uh. I mean, we get them all back, but they do get a Phyrexia as well. Well, we don't sacrifice any creatures. And we do kill that when we come in. We do kill that. It's okay. Resolve. We need to kill the portal. They found the wrath. I just honestly can't believe it. But they did find it. Okay. So let's go. Draw a graveyard. Um, let's go here. And. Let's go there. There. Uh, kill the portal. Get in for eight. Um, play a land. Play big score. Sack. Get some more action. End the turn. The unearth goes. 13 on board. Barring another wrath. This got seven life to get rid of. Okay. Draw discard. We can unearth as well. Get rid of the Celestus. Get rid of anything that comes down. A fairy comes in. It's another chance for opponent because they've still got seven power stones. I'm right on. So they will be plussing. Get to look at the top three. I mean, the good thing is we still come in with this. <laughs> they still found it. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. 
Oh dear, that's hilarious. Um, so your graveyard, we go here. And then we will go there. Opponent gains life. Opponent's luck is going to run out eventually. Anna. Um. Attacking. Heal to fairy. You just let me know if you're for round two. Get in for eight. Um. Play the fable. End the turn. The unearth goes. Pona's got the draw. What do they draw? They haven't got it in hand. So do we get this win? It's been an epic match, Hugh he. They got a discard one. Land. The mighty stones, they get to draw two more cards. Oh, they could go minus five five. No, they can't because it costs seven life. It's seven life. Down to one. Oh, it's hilarious. GG's. GG's. And we go with the Throne Spider. They discard two. That's not too bad. And do we get in for the win? We do. What a game. I mean, we were never really in threat. Their opponent was just sort of playing it out there. But oh, my word. We grinded through that control deck. Uh, that was a really fun brew as well. It was a different type because it was more like artifact control. So I really like that deck. Um, but yeah. This deck looks like it's got some power. It looks like it does really well. Uh, first iteration of the deck I'm really liking. Um, as soon as Graveyard hates, if there's a lot of Graveyard Trespassers, it's going to make the deck a lot more awkward. But for now, um, until people sort of caught on to that, I think like it's a really cool deck. And we get to play with lots of new different cards as well. So this is definitely fun. Um, these are powerful. Multiples of these on the field are amazing. And then just keep recurring all these. It's just, a, oh, it's just so strong. Um, you can mix her up with some other creatures if you feel like, you know, because Spirit Sister's Call is, is, is really sweet. Maybe um, the Gix card as well is another way to reanimate, but I do like Repair and Charge as well. We get the Power Stone, and then we get to Return Stone. So maybe thinking of adding Planeswalkers in could be a, you know, maybe a couple of Planeswalkers in could be a good idea to this deck as well. But all in all, I'm very happy with it. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you've enjoyed the video, please smash the like. It really does help with these early videos coming out of the new set. If you like, comment, watch until the end. If you want to go that further, you can become a Total MTG Patreon. So thanks to everyone that does that and supports me the extra further. Helps me create more videos and make better content for you. So anyway, you lot take care. I'll see you on the next video.